We've talked about air filters for HVAC on this channel a bunch, and I have one that I particularly like, which is a filter cabinet that goes right up next to your air handler. My air handler arrangement and my entire HVAC design is not actually the way that I recommend most people's now to be, now that I know more about it. Mine has a filter grill, and filter grills are slightly problematic in my experience, because we haven't had access to a much thicker media filter. People out there who know what I'm talking about, they've got a three inch thick filter or four inch or five inch thick filter. And the more you make the filter media go like this, the bigger and bigger the filters surface area becomes. So for example, a four inch media filter is going to have nine times as much surface area as a one inch filter. And I have been to the big box stores, you can't find a filter that's more than one inch thick at these places. And I've been to like bunches of them across America. And I'm always looking like to see if they are changing their ways and they just don't have it. So you're going to be ordering it online no matter what. But even if you wanted one for a filter grill, you couldn't have one because they just weren't available. So I recently was giving a presentation and I said, hey, if anybody knows about something that I don't know about, please come up and tell me afterwards. And luckily, a friend of mine did come up and tell me like about this new thing. So I ordered one and I'm going to install it here. Let me just show you what it is real quick. This is where you can buy it is at discount filters. And I'm not getting paid for any of this stuff. So if you have filter grills and right now you've got Merv 8s in them, you could have better filtration by doing this. So this is a three inch that gets retrofitted into a one inch filter slot. And the way that they make it work is that you've got these rims around it, right? The rim is made out of, uh, in this case, foam. And they make a point that um, they're trying to compete with the Honeywell version of this, which looks like this. Uh, and it's got a cardboard rim on it instead. I am not sure whether that's going to make a big difference or not, but I will say that this thing doesn't come in as many sizes. So I have a 24 by 24 grill behind me, and they don't make one in my size. These guys do. And in fact, you can see that they've got tons and tons of different sizes. So I like that. I think that this one would be what I would recommend. When we get into the details here, you're not going to find the things that I normally like to see for a filter, which is publication of their static pressure drop. So if you look at the literature on this, what they're going to give you, aside from pretty pictures and you know how it basically arranges itself, so the lip hangs onto this and then the rest of it goes in, is particle size removal efficiency. This is where the MERV rating comes from. Um, and they're saying that this is a MERV 13, which means it has to meet certain standards. The resistance versus airflow thing, this is basically, it would be better if this was a table. At least they're giving us a curve. So they're saying that if you're moving 600 CFM through this filter, then you're going to be having a filter pressure drop of 0.13. The problem that I have with this is that I'm pretty sure that this size that I'm looking at, which is 24 by 24, is not what this is. This seems to be one document that they made for every one of their filters. So I don't actually believe this chart because it's not, I didn't tell it what size filter I'm looking at. So it should be different for every single size. You shouldn't be able to move 900 CFM through this thing and have a filter pressure drop of roughly 0.22 or something like that. Um, that's just not probably what's going on. Also, the uh, inches water column over here is 0 0.1 and 0 0.1, 0 0.2 and 0.2. That seems a little bit weird. So this isn't really like an engineering um, level look at this thing. So I'm a little bit dubious about this, but we will test it. So let's go ahead and take a look at what came in the mail. They just arrived and I will say the foam looks like it's well glued, but the spacers in here are a little bit off. So just, you probably wanna spend a few minutes making sure all these are absolutely perfect so that the air actually goes in and doesn't get deflected around it. Let me take the beautiful grill off of our central return and I can test the static pressure behind this filthy filter um, by poking this pressure probe through it. So, Right now, you can see that 
we've got a pressure drop on that filter of about 0.29 inches of water column. Okay, this filter doesn't fit perfectly inside of my homemade return grill. Um, and you can see why those fins were manufactured by me. And just to remind everybody, heat pump return, dehumidifier return, HEPA filter loop, which no longer works, it's been decommissioned. Um, so I kind of have to shove this thing into the corner a little bit just to get it seated and then uh, squeeze it around. It's a little ganky, but uh, I do have the pressure being monitored in there and the pressure drop I've got is a lot less. So 0.11 with these three inch pleats instead of the two inch pleats on that one. And that one is dirty. So I'm gonna wanna test this. I would wanna test a clean versus a clean, but I'm just like trying to make you guys part of my uh, Saturday homeowner activities. So anyway, this is a good number. I like this. I now wanna know if there's air leakage since this thing isn't fitting right uh, around this. And for that, we use our air tracer. So you can see air is going through the filter, but I wanna know is air going around the edge also. Aha. Yeah, it is. Going straight through the foam and not. Okay, great. So now we just gotta tape it up and we're fixed. Now there's no way for the air to get around the filter, it has to go through. Our static pressure is still looking great on this. Uh, again, it's clean. It will get more restrictive when it's dirty. Is this a little bit of a pain? Yeah, it doesn't fit perfectly. It's okay, no worries. Um, it's not plug and play for me, but the fact that there is a three inch filter that's available that fits into this one inch slot uh, and the fact that they have the pre static pressure test and airflow information on this. That's, I think, the thing that's the sweet spot. So yeah, I'd still recommend it.